Audi tries a different kind of boost. Novatech builds a Ferrari that's not for amateurs, and a mini Toyota puts on its jacket. What's up? I'm your brother from another mother, Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Roll that thickety theme song. Today's Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Factory Spike's first original comedy, Sundays at 10 p.m. GM just announced one of the company's Corvette ZR1 models has lapped Germany's Nürburgring in 7 minutes, 26 seconds. That's 3 seconds faster than the fastest official lap time recorded by the Nissan GTR. Corvette chief engineer Taz Juchter says the ZR1, piloted by GM development engineer Jim Merrow, ran on pump fuel and was, quote, bone stock, except for added communications and safety equipment. We'll know more when GM releases a video of the run sometime next week. Back to you in the studio, Derek. Audi today offered a first look at the company's new supercharged V6. That's the engine rumored to replace the 4.2 liter V8 in the next generation S4. Audi's not talking about that yet, but it's talking about its new direct injection 3 liter TFSI engine. But don't get confused, the T doesn't mean turbo. The new 6 is boosted by a supercharger. Audi turbo fans may cry blasphemy, but company officials say this compressor isn't Audi's first. Auto Union Grand Prix cars of the 1930s used supercharged V12s and V16s producing upward of 600 horsepower. The new TFSI 6 cranks out a bit less at 290 with 310 pounds feet of torque. But the big draw is fuel economy. Audi says the supercharged 6 will grant the cars it propels an average of nearly 24 US miles per gallon. The supercharged 6 is expected to show up in the next A6 and insiders say a higher output version is likely for the next Audi S4. Well, we'll be watching. And if you were raised by meth-addicted pit bulls and brought a chainsaw to Arts and Crafts Day, you probably think Ferrari's new 510 horsepower Scuderia is sort of underwhelming. Well then check out the latest from Ferrari tuner Novatech Rosso. Not satisfied with stock horsepower? Novatech boosted the already potent F430 variant with a few strategic pieces of flair. Those include twin belt-driven superchargers. The company also slotted in a set of water and oil coolers to keep the boosted 4.3 liter V8 from going supernova. The result is an extra 207 horsepower. Novatech says a 717 horsepower beast can get from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and crack 215 miles per hour. Whoa! Where does a 1500 horsepower Land Rover park? Right, anywhere it wants. And by it, we mean the long nose. The custom Landy is the product of Thomas Bell, founder of specialty builder Bell Arons. The long nose combines a classic British Roadster with a classic British Land Rover. But the real news is under the hood. Bell says the long nose will be powered by a 27 liter supercharged V12 aircraft engine. But don't run down to your local Bell Arons dealer yet. First of all, there aren't any. Second, the V12 long nose will likely be just a show car to promote lesser long nose models. For those, expect to pay around 200,000 bucks. Will Toyota face down the smart car in the land of $5 gas? That's in the internet rumor mill. After this. Do you like comedy? Do you like heavy machinery? Well, I know I do. So check out Spike's new original series, Factory. Premieres this Sunday at 10 p.m. Check it out on Spike. Do you guys know what time it is? No. no. It's Commenter of the Week time. Let's wrap it up. Let's go. Commenter of the Week. Comments. Yes. This week comment comes from Chris Medina 83. He or she says, Jiang seems to have a university education. Sorry, maybe Derek DeAngelis has a better sense of humor. You smelled humor wrong. But I think this is just because he is a survivor of the system. Well, Chris Medina, I gotta tell you, graduated with a BFA, that's a Bachelor of Fine Arts, in Arts and Communication with a concentration in Graphic Design. I also minored in Anthropology with a minor minor in Cars and then a triple minus minor to the third power in Physics. Yes, 
I am a smart person. <laughs> All right, that's enough. It looks like a sumo wrestler in a members only jacket, but spies say it's a production prototype of Toyota's new IQ mini car. Where it is, Toyota's working around the clock to get the IQ ready for an increasingly cost conscious public. Insiders say the IQ will get a unique three plus one seating layout. That's one more than the Smart 4.2. No word on fuel efficiency figures, but Toyota reportedly plans to build 100,000 IQ models in its first year. And finally, what the fuck? Looks like the adults have finally caught on. The North Carolina Division of Motor Vehicles is recalling 10,000 license plates, not because they're defective, but because they contain some usage of the acronym WTF. Anyone younger than Secretary of the Navy Donald C. Winter knows those three letters as an expression of disbelief containing a common vulgarity. And it's not shit. Now the DMV is offering owners of the WTF plates a free replacement. DMV for the win. That's FTW. And thanks to Charioteer for posting this story on the feed. That's feed.fastlanedaily.com. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for Friday. I'm Derek D, and like many, I pledge my allegiance to the huge Eddie Murphy head. You guys have a good weekend. I know I will. Fastlane Daily presents the official dog of Germany's Nürburgring. Always fresh, every day, Fastlane Daily. <laughs>